a packed up car, you know what this means. love driving to Niagara Falls. I love seeing the mist from the falls, the buildings on the Canadian side. It just makes me happy. So this hotel that we're going to be staying at is right across from the Seneca Niagara Casino and it is less than a half a mile from the state park. Welcome to the Sheridan Niagara Falls USA. This is a Marriott property, so if you are a Bonvoy member, you will love it here. It has a very spacious lobby with meeting space, fitness center and pool, and of course there's Starbucks, which is amazing. They also have a Hydra Spa that's not currently open due to COVID, Rainforest Cafe, TGI Fridays, and a little corner deli. Just as a heads up, TGI Fridays was not open while we were there. Thankfully to being a gold member for Marriott Bonvoy, we got an upgrade to a king suite which came with a pullout sofa a little desk area mini fridge microwave a separate king bedroom lots of closet space we were so happy with this upgrade so there's kind of one awkward thing about this bathroom and that's that you have to look at yourself when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> just hanging around so we ordered our food all the menus are QR code so no touchy touchies which is nice okay mm. adventure I know that's awesome I think you I think the apples are scared of thunderstorms oh my goodness I think we've got our food and Jeff's watching football over there somewhere. Have you had a volcano? No, I have not. Volcano! Oh, I, I got it, Olivia. Ooh. Oh my. That's what I call a volcano right there. Alrighty, just like we like to, you know, when we travel abroad or in other states, support local. We were set in this direction from lots of uh, Instagram posts and we're told that there are some delicious pizza and goodies. So we we're going to grab some to bring back to our room. to the Third Street Art Gallery, which has different murals all throughout. <laughs> Pretty. The reservations are required for the pool and there's fish and there's coral 
Come fish in here. So their pool area is called the Reef Club. Let's jump in! We made it back to the room. Little Miss wanted a Frappuccino. So I got that from the Starbucks downstairs and it is quarter after six and we just plan on vegging the rest of the night. So unless anything crazy happens, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs> so today's gonna be an easy one. We're actually just gonna pretty much be at the hotel most of today. We want to veg out. We slept till about 10, 1030, which is fantastic feeling. We ordered some DoorDash because um, we wanted to get stuff from this donuts place and parking can be a little tricky in Niagara Falls. So we just DoorDashed it. Um, so that's on its way. I have to work a little bit, but really the family's okay just vegging out, watching TV. We have some pool time scheduled again for later. We'll probably be getting in the pool a couple times. While we're here in the hot tub, um, probably gonna get on the treadmill here in a little bit too. And I do have to go get some coffee from the Starbucks that's within the hotel, so that'll probably be healthy, uh, helping happening. And then I will probably also, will get dinner from the corner deli that's here in the hotel. That's one of the things that's really great about full service hotels, is you don't really have to go anywhere if you don't have to, which is absolutely great if you're looking to do a COVID style vacation and the staff here has been very friendly, very helpful. So I will link this Sheridan down there. So make sure you guys check it out. Our order from Frankie's has arrived. Now this place is literally called Frankie's Pizza and Donuts. It's quite the combination. No. <laughs> donuts? And we're gonna dive in. My mom ordered mm. peanut cream. Oh, is that the coconut? Mm -hmm. That's like the peanut cream. Mm. Of course. <laughs> you got your pizza? Yeah. And I mean, you really can't be near Buffalo without wings, can you? So I had a fabulous day of doing nothing. But you know, after doing nothing, I was like, I need to do something. So I decided to go down to the gym for a little bit. It is pitch black outside <laughs> but um you know just kind of did some thing and there's jeff waiting for me to paint him like one of my french girls but uh <laughs> might go to the pool in a bit get some dinner we'll see be back all right so we've checked out of the hotel it's our last day as we head back home and i've read about the red coach inn we almost stayed here but then the sheridan rate was just too good to pass up this is a niagara falls staple on the state side, you can hear the falls from here. I will give you a view in just a second. You can see the mist of the falls right there. But here she is. How adorable is this place? All right, we got our food. So we got the <clears throat> coconut almond toasted shrimp, which supposedly won a Best of Buffalo award. Jeff got his Caesar and I got my French onion. The Caesar looks legit. Hey, that's mushroom. Mmm. Mm. These are phenomenal. Mm. Bottoms up. You can't be in Western New York and not get a beef on a whack, which is a cumulwick bun with shaved beef and jus and horseradish. This comes with a potato salad. Jeff got the meatloaf and Olivia got shepherd's pie. So you ordered the shepherd's pie. Are there shepherds in there? No! Dessert. This is a peanut butter pie. So I fancy myself a bit of a peanut butter connoisseur. So let's see here. I may have an obsession with peanut butter. 
my job. You guys. It's not super sweet, but I mean, it is a lot of peanut butter. So if you're a peanut butter fanatic, get this. Get the peanut butter pie, seriously. It's so good. You guys, that was so delicious. Now we're gonna head over to the state park. Hi, squirrel. Hey, buddy. <laughs> that is a big squirrel. He's been eating well. Wait, why isn't he hibernating? <clears throat> hey, bud. Yeah, get away from that. Oh, okay, we've made it to Terrapin Point, which when it's not freezing, you can actually get down there a little bit further, which I'll show you in a second, but it's as close as you can get to Horseshoe Falls or the Canadian Falls from this point. Niagara Falls State Park is open year-round. It's $10 to park, and that is for all day. And you can park on both sides. Remember, there is a spot over by the bridge as well as on the island, which is really right here. During the summer months, you can get up a little bit closer. It's not as safe during the winter, but it is still beautiful. It's still majestic. And the cool thing about Goat Island is you pretty much have waterfalls on both sides. You have the beautiful Canadian Falls and the Indian If you want to see the American Falls, come over to the Go Island parking area. Even though Olivia's done a few times, she absolutely loved it. And I think she even enjoyed it a bit more this time, especially since Duck asked the teacher about Nicholas. This is just a beautiful state park. So much like the other side, there are additional viewing areas during the nicer time of the year, but they are just sheets of ice with all the moisture coming from the river and the falls. And then of course right here, you have the Bridge to Canada, one of the many in this area. The black squirrel. So when you drive to parking lot three on the other side of the island, you can get a better view of the actual Niagara River before it heads into the falls. Don't forget to come to parking lot three and this is towards the exit on Goat Island. I know that there are not real waterfalls over here, but it is simply beautiful. It's great for photos, you can hang out with some seagulls. And I think the thing that is truly mesmerizing by being over in this part of the park. It's just hearing the roar of the Niagara River. It is unlike anything else you'll ever hear. It's so powerful. It's very humbling. We are all set and now heading home. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.